Hey YouTube, this is your girl, Sonia. I'm so sorry. I know it sounds so cliche. I haven't been able to do a video in so long, but a lot has happened since we talked. And today I want to keep it short and sweet, but I want to talk about lupus and chemotherapy. Ever since about two weeks ago, my rheumatologist decided after my last hospitalization in December, which I was in the hospital, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I was, and I was in there for about three days, and they figured that prednisone, my little buddy prednisone here, is not doing enough to curb the flares. So the doctor that saw me in the hospital got together with my personal rheumatologist and decided to kick me off of this, which is caused a lot of weight gain, which is why I don't look myself and I hate everything, but um, and they decided to put me on chemo. Now, you may be thinking, okay, what is, why is someone who has lupus on chemotherapy? Well, to make a long story short, chemo helps suppresses the immune system, and that's what somebody with lupus needs, you know, to stop making it so overactive and attacking my body. And they are afraid that the lupus is messing with my spinal cord and why I use a wheelchair and why I, um, I love this blanket. It's a heated blanket. Yeah, guys, I've been on what's called azathioprine or Imuran. And Imuran is, it's not as bad. Um, I go out, when I go out, you know, I wear masks because some of you all don't vaccinate your children and you let your kids go out and you go outside with pneumonia and these are things that will make it relatively easy for me to catch these diseases so i want to protect myself i wash my hands a lot and i go outside with a mask because people you know they do things that they need to do people go to work when they're sick and i wish that the united states and this country fostered an environment where you know, if you need to take a couple of days off work for sickness, you know, you can do that without worrying about losing pay or your job. You know, people say, oh, well, you know, you got FMLA, so people can do that without worrying about losing their job. Yeah, we have FMLA, but that FMLA is unpaid work, unpaid time. And for those of us that live paycheck to paycheck, unpaid time is not going to cut it. So, um... My side effects that I've personally gone through. Well, I haven't been losing any hair because I'm on a very low dose of it, which most people with lupus or other diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's or any autoimmune diseases, um, we're, we're not taking the levels that a cancer patient would. So if we're not doing that, then our side effects are relatively lower than someone with cancer. Oh, and I just wanted to say one of my favorite people from uh, Mob Wives, Big Ange, she passed away today. I was heartbroken. I was actually crying this morning. So much love and respect to her family and may she rest in peace. But, um, yeah, um, you know, for a while I was scared to take this stuff. You know, I didn't, I didn't even want to, you know, when I take a new medication, I'm always scared, you know, whether if I react a certain way or what if the side effects are bad. I do get nausea. Nothing too ridiculously bad, but the nausea is there. The only, the number one side effect I would have to say is the fatigue. You know, with lupus and everything and the fibro, I already have fatigue, okay? But the key, oh, this stuff makes my fatigue ten times worse. So I find myself going to sleep a lot and... I'm just tired, guys. I'm but I'm in bed now because I'm just tired. Um, but hopefully, oh, I got a new hairstyle. I've been wearing my hair in a bob, so I hope you guys like that. But hopefully, um, 
the this will get me off of these and I can go back down to this normal size of where I recognize myself um but the chemo is um it it will be at least three months before I know if it's made any good so far no um however it's uh I just I don't know I just wish I had my life back and uh, my family took it kind of hard when they found out I had to go on this stuff and uh, I just I don't really know what to say right now it's not easy putting something that you know is toxic in your body in hopes that it makes you better but you have to do what you have to do in order to maintain some sense of some normalcy I'm engaged it's not real and I've been engaged for the past five years and I haven't been able to get a wedding together because of this disease and if 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 this does its job then hopefully I can um, walk or roll my wheelchair down the aisle and finally be a married woman, you know? So that's pretty much all I was going to talk about today. I hope you guys had a great Valentine and, and a great holiday. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've been able to do a video, but again, I was in the hospital and now I'm dealing with a whole new section and chapter of my life, which I'm actually going to take my medication now. So I got the azathioprine. I like Pepsi. I still take prednisone. I wean myself off of it. Oh, and guess what? My TN is back. The treasure of neuralgia. I've been battling that all day. But my fiance, he bought me Tiffany's. And he just, I just love him so much. So, you know, a girl and her Tiffany's, you know, it just, it makes everything feel better. So, I thank you guys for being patient with me and sticking with me through another difficult time. Um, for those of you that have lupus um, and are not at the point where you're on a chemotherapy regimen, it's okay. Um, not all everyone with lupus will do this. And some people with lupus may go through certain times in their life where they need it. And some of us won't. So hopefully this can, I can come to you guys in another six months and say, hey, you know, it did the trick. I'm finally in remission or, you know, it can make everything worse. It's like 50, 50. So on that note, um, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go back and, and lay down because again, oh, it makes me sleepy. I'm tired. So I'm going to sleep. Good night. Bye. <laughs>